Welcome. In this video, I want to teach you how to design a microSDRIP antenna in the CST Studio software. Maybe you have different version of the software, but it doesn't matter. In the previous version of the software, the basic that I'm gonna say is the same. So, let's get started. First of all, you have to start create a project and of course we are in the RF and antennas then we choose planar antenna because we want to design a micro strip antenna is the same as patch antenna then we choose the time domain and then the dimension is millimeter and the frequency is gigahertz so the other option you sh shouldn't change it especially um, if you're watching this video it means that you are a beginner in this software so the frequency minimum and maximum we choose between 2 and 3 gigahertz and we want the far field at 2.4 gigahertz because we want to design a micro strip antenna in 2.4 gigahertz and it's just a sample if you want to design the different frequency you just change this number all right so first of all you have to set a coordination which you go in the modeling tab and in the local wcs then you choose local WCS. It gives you this coordination. Here is the shape of the micro strip antenna that we want to design it. It's a rectangular micro strip patch. You can see it. So because we want to design a rectangular first, we are gonna create a substrate. In the modeling tab, you choose brick. Then you double click it and again double click and again double click then you are gonna set the dimension based on a w v and u coordination here all right here you can see previously i designed this one so it is 50 in 43 millimeter uh, i'm not gonna use a parameter here so i'm gonna put a number here and if you are a beginner it's much more easier for you to do it for the first time because i want to be symmetric in the u direction so i'm gonna put minus 43 divided by 2 and then 43 divided by 2 it has start from v which is equal to 0 and and goes up to 50 millimeter so here in the w we want to put a thickness of the substrate which is in this case it is one millimeter so i put it minus one and zero you can put zero to one it depends on you then in this section you you choose loud for material library we are going to use the FR4 substrate because it's very popular in the microwave and it's a very cheap substrate. Here in the material library, you just press F and it goes in the material that starts with F. FR4 loosen. In the top side of the antenna, we have micro strip line which is connected to the radiation patch. First, we create a micro strip line. The micro strip line has a wide of 1.7 millimeter in the 20 millimeter. We do the same thing here again.
the thickness of the copper is enough 0.1 but if you have a data sheet from the company it's better that you put accurate but 0.1 it's very common then from loud from material library you put c and it shows the material that start with c we use copper And then for the radiation patch, we have this dimension. And then for the ground of the micro stream antenna, we rotating and we select a ground by putting S on the screen and double click on the bottom of the micro stream antenna. Then we choose a brick and we put ESC on your keyboard. This is what gonna happen is that select this one and it create a rectangular that has an exact dimension as you create here but it doesn't have any thickness so we add a thickness to it which is 0 0.1 and copper then you are gonna put a control on your keyboard and double click on the micro strip line and double click on the radiation patch and then we are going to boolean section and we press the app which um, it is start to merge the micro strip line to the radiation patch right now you can see the software look all of it, this one as a one piece of copper all right, until now you design a micro stream antenna, but it doesn't have any input port. So we give it a waveguide input. With scrolling the mouse button, we go and zoom inside and we put S on your keyboard and we double click on the micro strip line. Then you start to select a micro strip line then we go to the home, macros, solver, and then we go to the ports and we select calculate port extinction coefficients. Basically in this section, the software start to design a waveguard um, appropriate to the thickness of the micro strip patch and the width of the micro strip line. The only thing that you do is you press calculate and construct port from peak phase close all right so simple and then in the home section we have an option which means start simulation you press that one and that's all Based on computer speed, the running of the simulation is different. For finding the antenna bandwidth, we go to 1D results and in the section called S parameters. It shows the antenna return loss in the dB scale. And of course, the bandwidth that we have under minus 10 is the antenna bandwidth, which in this case it's focus on 2.4 gigahertz but it's just a sample you can um, design a much better antenna i just give you a very simple sample and for seeing the antenna radiation pattern we go to the far field 
and we have far field 2.4 which shows the frequency that the software gives you the gain and the radiation pattern of the antenna if you scroll the, your mouse button you can see that the antenna have the radiation pattern above of the antenna like this from here up to the top and the antenna have the gain of 5.95 dBi, which is very good for the micro strip. And in the future, I'm gonna show a trick about CST software that you can do. There's a lot of things that you can design from filtering to the mixer and the, a lot of antenna horn and waveguide antenna. So if you want me that I know anything uh, about your idea, just comment below and thanks for watching.